Okay, so this is how to do the calibration. Um, I've got this folder set up here. This is for uh, Loom Acoustics because um, they've sponsored this research. Um, but I can't actually distribute V4 by myself, I think. Um, there's nobody around in the development forums to ask, so I can't make this public. But um, anyway, so this is the setup which um, I'm wanted to use. So I've got Alpha 28. And inside that, I've got this add-on pack, which is the most recent version of my fork of the add-on pack, which includes all the OpenCV things. So I'm just going to start with uh, V4. And I don't need to set up any paths. And basically, straight away, just open up the um, main. Okay, now what I get by default when I start is um, I get a view of the uh, of the what's it called? Um, I get a view from the Kinex RGB camera and the Kinex World Cam, the depth camera, and this is using OpenMI. So this can be adapted to use Microsoft Connect. Um, I'm not sure what frame rate I'm getting, but again. I'm also doing lots of maybe quite a low frame rate, but um, this can be sped up. And uh, this is using Open and I. Um, we could kick, we could after we get the transforms at the end, we could just take those transforms out, and we don't need the rest of the patch. I think the find boards is the thing which is taking up most of the CPU. Right. So um, what we need to do is um, we can see through the connect and the webcam. So these are coming from devices. Um, to start with, your webcam might be showing. That's probably because this device ID is incorrect here. Here's a list of devices on your system. So two here is my Logitech HD Pro. Um, and I've just set manually the sharpness to zero because um, even when you do show settings in here, it doesn't actually show you the sharpness. And it's kind of annoying. You can't turn it down. Um, but yeah, so go to advanced settings in here. Um, to get there, you right-click on show settings, then, and then you've got brightness and contrast controls, or whatever. Right, and then this is running at 1920 by 1080. Let's hide that one, and then now I can start calibrating. Now, you need a chessboard for this, and if you go into find boards, it's got my specification for my chessboard up here, and it's uh, it's 10 in a okay, right. 10 in a corner is this way and seven in the corners this way. That error that just came up is um, it's probably V4 at the moment, um, which comes from particular when you're dealing with um, weird spread counts, which this does. Um, but it shouldn't, it's not there in the release version. I think I can suppress that error. Okay, so what you do is you, you check up the board and it's gonna, it's gonna find it, basically. And what you wanna do is look in these two views and see what comes from both. Hold it. And then when you hold it, it'll ping. Okay. Right, and then if you take it out of the way, it'll just get trapped in the last position because it's suffering to try and find a new one. But it won't actually try and capture that. Um, so it's only when it's slightly moving, but not moving too much. So it knows there's actually something happening. So just hold it as steady as possible. So you want to do a range of positions. Generally what I try and do is come back a little bit to like somewhere around here and then um, get it capturing and try and like do the perimeter of the of the narrower camera. So the big difference here to RGBD Toolkit is that we are calibrating against the XYZ positions. So rather than doing a stereo calibrate, we're using this node called Calibrate Camera, which 
um, needs to know the 3D positions of where the points are. Um, now you can either do that with them all on a board, and then it will find out the transforms for the boards, or you can give them known transforms, sorry, known world positions. Right, so now we've done that a few times, um, we can just hit do. And at the moment, you can either hit in this pin here, or you can go inside it. And when you do do, you'll see here, now you've got the live calibrated view. And you see if my head goes off the edge of one camera. I'm still getting the mesh, but it's it's not showing any, any RGB. Now, there is a fudge factor in here. Um, also, you might want to just notice quickly um, that it's got this frosting preview, which is slightly gray. And if you want to get the right, real current collision, either go inside the frosting preview or you can just turn that off. Camera preview, turn off the fill there so you can get the proper color. But yeah, you can see that um, it shows where the camera is. If I, if I put it this mirror now, you can see in here, so you can see like it's got the Logitech above the, above the ASUS, slightly up to the side. And that, that's basically what it's showing us on this, um, on this world view. Um, yeah, and it shows that the first one, so basically that's how it's projecting the texture, that one so. Now, similar to an RGBD toolkit, we're actually having to add in a fudge factor here in the y-axis. Now, if you look in here, this looks good now, so the fudge factor from before is working. But here we've got a fudge factor of 0.05, which is giving a translation and a projection. Now, this is consistent across the whole scene. Um, there's something wrong with the principal point of the um, of the camera, um, so just you always have to adjust this y value. The x value pretty much never needs to adjust, but the y value you always end up needing to give it a little bit of value here. So you see now I've got good calibration. And the color is much better than the Connect camera. So if I um add this thing, so you save that view projection with your fudge factor, and if you do want to save your calibration. Um, basically just save this transform out here. Just do get matrix and then that gives you your calibration. There and just save these numbers. And then it's this, this view world, the second one, which has got um this view world, open an eye, DX9 projected texture. And then this takes in the RGB in the world and it takes in um, the view projection from here and it takes in the intrinsics, which um, is used is used for understanding the image. And it also takes the resolution of the projector. This inside this world the projector is the RGB camera. Right. So let's go to those things. Um, and if I just switch manually, you can see the difference between the two images. So this is the connect image and this is the RGB view projection. So it's much crisper. You can get much more detail. Um, I mean, there's much higher resolution and it's compressed into a smaller space, so it's kind of what you'd expect. Um, so again, let's stay still here. That's the connect, and that's the C910. Okay, I think that's everything. Um, just quickly, yeah, it gives you the translation and rotation. You can look down here, you don't really need that. Um, yeah, so yeah, this view world, the standard view world, just projects, it uses the RGB in the world as a reminder, and this one takes an external alignment, which comes from the intrinsics and the, and the transform. Um, pretty much everything, all the mechanisms are inside fine boards. So inside here, it's got like all of the stuff that's going on. Um, so if you want to reset it, you can do that on the, on the pin at the top. We can do it here, and you can do do, which does the calibrating here. Um, when you uh, put your finger, you'll see this. These toggles tell you when it's steady in both the images, and that's what causes it to bang. Um, this count here tells you how many times you you've taken a recording, and yeah, generally you want to get it over ten and do it in a range of places within the camera's view. And down here, we've just done that in intrinsics if you want to see them. Um, Sure, it's not doing that. Anyway. Okay, so it's pretty much it. Like I said, it uses this calibrate camera here. It's a two stage calibration. The first stage gets the intrinsics and it does that using your object points from the board. So you have to define the board here. So mine's got a picture of two and a half centimeters. 
Oh, maybe I should put that point in front. It doesn't matter. French was just um, That gives the intrinsics from calibrate camera, which is then passed to a second calibration stage where it uses the intrinsics from the last calibration and creates the extrinsics. So the intrinsics is the projection and the extrinsics is the view. And these come out um, as here. This projection stays the same. So this intrinsics, this projection is the same as coming out here. So the intrinsics and projection are essentially the same thing, but intrinsics also incorporates distortion. Um, the view board is the extrinsics, or always known as the view. Externally, they come out here, go into view projection, get multiplied together, as well as this left-handed coordinate system um, fudge, which goes from open CV coordinates to direct X coordinates. And we do this fudge factor on translate. Okay, so that's it. That should work. Mm -hmm.